Hello Nintendo fans, I'm Dylan, and we've got possibly our last interesting development when it comes to Switch 2 this year, either before it's A revealed or B confirmed not to be revealed this year at Nintendo's six-month earnings release investor meeting on November 5th. And this latest interesting piece of news comes to us courtesy of Platonic, the developers behind the ukulele franchise. If you weren't aware, ukulele, which originally released in 2017 on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and of course Nintendo Switch, is getting a remaster called Yuka Replay E. Well, Yuka Replay E was announced in June 2024, but outside of being able to wishlist it on Steam, Platonic has not announced platforms. Well, on October 24th, 2024, that has changed, and the game is confirmed to be coming to PS5, Xbox Series S and X, as well as Nintendo? That's right, it is not announced for the Switch, it's announced for Nintendo. And while that could have been viewed as a mistake, it certainly is not, as Platonic on their very own website and Kickstarter pages literally wrote, and I quote, Yes, Yuka Replay E will be available on PS5, Xbox Series consoles, and dot dot dot, Nintendo? Question mark? Ooh, mysterious. We'll have more on that as soon as possible. They also posted eyeballs on their tweet over the Nintendo part, drawing attention to it, and even in their literal announcement trailer, they put the Nintendo logo without the Switch logo and intentionally had the eyes staring at it. So they are definitely drawing attention to it on purpose. Another interesting little wrinkle is Nintendo UK's marketing manager actually responded to Platonic's tweet with a pair of mysterious eyes as well, but immediately deleted the post. And I mean immediately. It didn't even have many likes or anything before he deleted it. Now, there's obviously two ways to look at this when it comes to Switch 2, and I'll give you both sides of the argument right now to be fair. On the positive side, you could look at a game getting blatantly teased for Nintendo's next console as a sign that we're potentially getting close to reveal. The developers literally even wrote we'll have more on that as soon as possible in regards to them just listing Nintendo as the platform. It's also suspicious because of the timing. I and many others have talked about this, but I'll do a quick recap if you're not aware. Nintendo in 2016 had their investor meeting for their six-month earnings release on October 26th, and the OG Switch was revealed on October 20th. So they revealed their new console the week before the meeting. And this year, Nintendo's six-month earnings release and investor meeting is on November 5th. So next week, at the time of recording this video, would be the time to announce Switch 2 if they follow the same timeline. Basically, I think it's fair to say if we see the Switch 2 this year, it's before that meeting. And if we don't see it before that meeting, Nintendo must be waiting until after the new year. Which means anything that happens before that November 5th investor meeting is going to get a lot of attention. Which, of course, brings me to the pessimistic view of this news. And a pretty reasonable one as well. Platonic only announced the platforms for Yuka Replay E the way they did for attention. And they know nothing about Switch 2, or at the very least, its announcement timing. Think about it. They are drawing attention to the fact that they just wrote Nintendo for the platform because they want articles written and videos made, like this one, about their game. They know the gaming industry is waiting for Switch 2 news, and if the remasters for PS5 and Xbox Series consoles as the original ukulele is on last gen, of course, then it makes sense that it would not come out on Switch 1. So they decided to tease a Switch 2 version of their game because they know they'll do one eventually. If they remaster it for the other platforms, why wouldn't they remaster it for Nintendo's? So they decided they might as well make headlines by being one of the first games announced for Nintendo's next gen console. It's honestly a pretty smart marketing tactic by Platonic. So smart, in fact, that it's stopping me from getting too excited about this news, even though I wish I could. The good news, however, is that we do not have long to wait before we know if this was actually a tease of Switch 2 news or not. As I said, it seems very likely that if we don't get anything before Nintendo's in 
pending investor meeting than we're not getting revealed this year. So very soon, we can stop freaking out over every little thing for a couple months. Also, I do suspect Nintendo will acknowledge the Switch 2 reveal timing during their investor meeting, as it was their president, Shinjiro Furukawa, who previously confirmed at an investor meeting that they would reveal the Switch successor this fiscal year. And if we make it to this next one without a reveal, it wouldn't surprise me if he straight up says, yes, we're revealing it after the new year. Which means we are in the end game for 2024 Switch 2 news, and that makes me happy either way. If we get a reveal in the next 10 days, which I really do think is possible, that would be amazing. But if we don't, I'm glad we can stop being on high alert at the very least. I personally have some videos I would like to do, but I'm holding off until after the investor meeting because I know any news about Switch 2 will kill any Nintendo related video, especially anything related to speculation about Switch 2. So I need to wait until after that's done. But yes, I do have some more researched videos planned, like the one I did about what every first party Nintendo team could be working on for Switch 2, which if you haven't seen it, I'll include a link to in this video. So that's it from me for now. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, as it really helps a small channel like mine grow. And if you have any thoughts about what Playtonic did, such as, do you think they did it just to make their game go a bit viral? Or was it actually a real tease and Nintendo UK's marketing manager slipped up by acknowledging it? Whatever your thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.